Hey, how you doing? Tom here from rawfoodchamp.com. I just wanted to give you an update, let you know how I'm, how I'm doing. I haven't been posting much on, uh, on the website, but uh, my wife and I are going to have our two-year anniversary in April of being on the raw food diet, low-fat raw food diet. I got to clarify that, make sure that I say that, because that is the key. A raw food diet, eating a lot of nuts and seeds will not work. It's not going to bring you optimum health. The low fat raw diet will. But the thing you have to remember, and I mean this has probably been told a lot, but I have to reiterate that remember there's only two sources of calories. You're either going to get them from animal based products, which contain a lot of fat, or you're going to get them from sweet, juicy fruit. And you want to go with the sweet, juicy fruit. So much uh, healthier for you, your, your body runs so much cleaner, so much more energy, so many less aches and pains. So um, I just wanted to give you an update and show you some things that I'm eating now. Joanne and I, we went out to Immokalee, that's where we go to a farmer's market out there. It's about a half hour from where we live here in Naples, Florida. And we picked some nice Valencia oranges right off the tree. We got these yesterday. Got a nice price, like we had, you know, like a half a box for nine bucks. And then we didn't pick these, but we bought these out in Immokalee. These are Honeybell oranges. I don't know if you've ever tasted a Honey Bell orange, but it is awesome. I mean, they're like, uh, you know, in between a, a really sweet uh, tangerine and a good Valencia orange, you know, so it's really nice. Grapefruits, this is like a pinkish. The white grapefruits are all awesome. But here in Florida, I mean, we have, we're in citrus season right now. So, I mean, we drink and eat the pulp. You know, we have a juicer, a juicer but we also eat the pulp because we want that fiber as well. But um, really, we go through a ton of oranges and grapefruits. And uh, we might do 30, 20, 30 for breakfast, another 20 before we eat lunch, <laughs> you know. So we're, eat, we're drinking and, and eating a lot of oranges, grapes, of bananas, of course. Bananas are the staple, okay? You need bananas. And, and see, notice these. Most people would say, man, I can't eat those. Those are rotten. These right now are perfect. The sugar in them is ready to be assimilated by the body. So very easy to digest. Great for your energy. So really, what I've been trying to tell people is that you want to eat foods that love you back. Basically, that's what it boils down to. And if you're on a lot of animal-based products, you're, you're consuming way too much fat. Fat does not love you back. Fat will cause heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, cancer, you name it. It just creates acid in the body. It does not alkalize your body. I got my cheat sheet here today. I don't, I don't want to forget anything. So, um, can you reverse disease? Absolutely. Can you reverse heart disease, diabetes, chronic fatigue, whatever it is, cancer? Yes. Diet makes the difference. Now, what happens, sometimes with diet, people will say, well, you know, the way you eat, I could never eat like that. I'm always hungry. Yeah, that's because you're not getting enough calories from fruit. Now, people are shocked, you know, when they find out how much fruit Joanne and I actually eat. Um, and, but then they'll say, yeah, but I, that means I gotta go out every five minutes and buy cases of fruit. No, you don't, really. 
I mean, you might have to go out every, every four or five days, maybe every week, to get a case of bananas, a case of uh, oranges or honey bells or grapefruits. Maybe you need a case and a half a week of bananas, your staple. But to me, it's so much easier than eating a sad diet. I mean, when I was on the sad diet, I was working hard. <laughs> the reason I was working hard, yeah, I could buy the stuff easy, or I didn't have to search it out a little bit, but, you know, I could buy the cookies and the chocolate-covered almonds and the, and the uh, you know, the health food pizza and the organic wine or whatever you want. But um, the thing is that those things just tire you out and you're, you end up eating too much fat. I was on the sad diet, okay, standard American diet. I had less energy and more aches and pains. And I know, I'm 61 now, that if I had stayed on the sad diet, things would have been a lot worse. I mean, oh, I can't imagine, 10 times worse, because I'm feeling so much better now than I did when I was 35 or 40. I mean, mentally especially. My brain is finally uh, getting cleared. <laughs> I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but it's waking up anyway. It's an awakening. But, um, you know, when you eat this food that's just right off the tree, I mean, you're getting all the sunshine, the vitamins, the water, the purest water on the planet is in raw foods, right off the throw. You've got to get control. I remember one time um, I heard a story of a lady who uh, one day, you know, she was trying to clean up her diet and she went to this, you know, health food store or whatever or, and they had some uh, chocolate cake. You know, it was so-called the healthy chocolate cake. And so they brought her the cake, and uh, she's looking at the cake, and she said, you know what? She said, who's got control here? <laughs> Me or that cake? And that's what you have to do. That's what it really boils down to. You have to say, you're in control. Don't let food control you. Um, to your detriment, I mean to a lot of suffering and pain. So, um, Raw Food Champ, just trying to encourage you. Any questions or comments, or my phone numbers are on the site, you want to call me. Love to talk to you, love to communicate through emails. I'm here to help anybody that I can. Um, because I cannot recommend this diet enough. It's helped me tremendously. Not like I had a ton of problems, but as you get old, if you don't change your diet, your diet's going to get you. It's going to bite you like a snake in the end, really. So I'm just trying to let you know that's what's going to happen. And um, I encourage you to make those little baby steps to keep on incorporating more sweet fruit into your diet. Um, cut back on the fats, eat, remember the, remember the saying on rawfoodchamp.com, if it's a plant, eat it. If it was made in a plant, don't eat it. That's a good rule to follow. Anyway, it's been great. Thank you for your time, for listening. I hope I didn't bore you to death, um, but um, anyway, Keep up the good work and give me a, give me a shout whenever you can. Take care. Bye-bye.